to the channel if you're new welcome to the channel for today's video girl we are doing like a tutorial kind of like a tutorial or like following a bob ross's tutorial i did head to i went to marshall's a few days ago and i picked up everything i need in here i also bought some extra brushes on Amazon and then I bought a little easel to hold up the canvas also on Amazon. So I got my little canvas here. We're starting off small because your girl is a beginner, okay? Like, I ain't that good. I just really thought that this would be like kind of a fun video, like painting. So I got this little paint palette for all the paint. Picked up a big brush in there. We got this little thing. I just bought everything that Bob used, basically. All my paints here. Oh my gosh. And let me tell you, these were expensive. Like, $6 for these things, each tube racks up, okay? But anything for you, Bob, anything for you, my boy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my little canvas with the easel and then i'm gonna go ahead and set up the paint and everything and then we're gonna get started i'm gonna be doing the bob ross peaceful waters they say that one is the easiest one we'll see how it goes today it's not my first time painting because like in high school and everything i did take art classes middle school as well i took art classes i'm hoping this is gonna be a smooth ride your girl hasn't painted in a minute we go we got our little stain here so i got all my different little oil brushes right here all right you guys we're about to get started so i'm gonna be playing the tutorial like the video on the tv and then i'm just gonna be drawing right here yeah let's do this thing y'all pray for me what do you got there Lay little Lay little okay now let's go right up to the canvas there we go and as you notice He's using both. Okay, so he said crisscross strokes. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Might as well look like he's already, y'all. There we go. I want water to be level if it's still water. So Wait. Kind of okay, because mine is looking a little too dark up here. <sighs> I did the crisscross strokes. It's not working for me. Okay, that's just gonna have to do. Okay, go back. Why don't we make a little bit of water there, just kind of from the outside in and. He's gonna add a little bit of thalum green to his color. Okay, a little bit of thalum green. Okay, y'all, so they are now doing the water, so let's do that. The outside in, that happens automatically. And if you leave a little area open in the center when he pulls from the other side, when the painting's finished, that'll look like a sheen of light going across the water. Okay. Hold on. So they just say go straight across. Like once, I don't know, it's not looking. My water's not looking like their water. It's looking so dark. Did I put too much green? Mine's is not looking like theirs, y'all. And I'm already getting paint everywhere. I just got it on my paint. Oh my God, it's everywhere on my pants. Where is this red coming from? Okay, so that's what we have, y'all, compared to look at what they got on the screen. Like, what? Okay, next. Let's go. Now, Steve, why don't you take a clean brush and just blend all that together for us, and we'll see how that looks. Okay, now he's just using a clean, dry brush, still using a little crisscross strokes, and blending the sky together. And you can blend it to any degree that you want. Okay, so now he's just saying he's blending it with a dry brush, so I'm going to use this brush. Y'all, look at my hands you all see this like look oh my god it's all on my clothes like ugh. okay so they're just brushing with a dry brush hopefully this will save us so my water is looking a tad bit too green so i'm just gonna try to fix it with a little more blue 
just blend it to about like he has it now. On the water, all we do is take and use very long strokes and go all the way across it. I don't know how they're cleaning out their brushes or how many brushes they got. Because I'm try I tried to clean this with water and it does not work. He says brush just lightly across. So lightly across, lightly across, lightly across. Barely touch the canvas. Lightly across. Okay. That's the best I could do, y'all. See how that's coming right together? No, I don't okay. see that bar. Mine just right looking here. like that. Okay, hold on. That's too yes. hard. Y'all, this is supposed to be the easiest one. And what? I can't. I'm literally already struggling. Now on to the clouds. It say a fan brush, so okay, we need some white. He they use a lot of white, so I'm gonna have to pour some more. There you are. See how full he's getting this a lot of titanium white. Okay, good. Now get it full. Use just the corner of the brush. A lot of titanium white. Okay, a lot of titanium white. Good. Okay, now, okay. Use just the corner of the brush. Just the corner. There, see how he's using just the corner, and all you're worried about is a nice top. So why don't you put one more roll? Okay, so my paint is still wet, and so now it's mixing. What do I do? You have to wait till it dries? I paint, like I paint. I painted in high school, middle school, even elementary school. But this level of painting is like way different. He was like so many different brushes and all of this and like, oh my gosh. And you guys, this is my first time painting with oil paint. Like I'm, I always paint with like, not always. I'm saying always, like I do this shit on a regular. No, like every time that I would paint, it will always be acrylic. So like working with oil paint, like I'm struggling. Like I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be even using this because when I mix it in, it makes it all weird. It's like, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm just gonna wait a little bit for this to dry. Okay y'all, so I waited about like 15 minutes already and it still hasn't dried. And I've been adding white, adding white and it's still not dry, so I don't know what to do. Like, I'm just gonna go to the next step. Steve, what color did you use there to make your basic mountain? Blue, brown, and alizarin crimson. Blue, brown, little bit of crimson. They're using this now, y'all. They're using this now. I've never used this before in my life. And you use very, very firm pressure when you're putting this basic shape on. You really, really push it into the fabric. And all you're worried about is just a nice top edge and you can care less what's happening underneath. Okay, he's going too fast. Slow down, my guy. The next step okay. easier. And it allows... Slow down. I'm trying to do it like you guys. How many mountains are we supposed to do? Her. Look at that y'all. I'm trying to perfect my mountain like it's getting real deal This is way harder than I thought y'all. This is what we have so far y'all compared to what Bob has over there and his son, they over there killing it. Okay, next. And let's see what you have in the way of paint. Sort of rotate it a little bit so we can see it good. See, it has just a little paint right on the edge there. Okay. Now, just barely touch. Now, here's where the problem oh, happens. Lord. People use too much pressure. See, no. Use absolutely no pressure. All it is is just the weight of the knife. And in your mind, think where light would strike the... Just the weight of the knife. Just the weight of the knife. Okay. Okay, so we got some white. So we about to do the snow on a mountain, y'all. Oh my God. I'm nervous because like, this is hard. And I want it to look cute. Like, I'm actually really trying, y'all. Like, really trying. Well, I really want this thing to look cute. Okay, so I got some on here. You see, just the weight of the knife. Ugh, my colors are mixing again, bro. I can't even use white on this thing.
Yo, my paint is not drying fast enough. Like, look, it's mixing. Bob, I need your help. Yo, mine don't look like theirs. It's really making me want to start over. Like, seriously. Because why is my paint not dry like theirs? Like, this thing is literally all still wet up here. Even down here. Like, what is going on? I'm going to do a new one. Y'all, I'm starting over. I'm sorry. I'm starting over. I have one more canvas. Okay, y'all. We're going, we're starting. This is crisscross. By using both sides of the brush, we assure an even distribution of color. The canvas has already been covered with magic white. So it's picking that up and automatically as it goes down toward the horizon, it gets lighter in value. water to be level if it's still water okay so one second one second so they add he said add a little bit thalum green again so we messed up the other time by adding too much so we're just gonna add lesser okay so they just said straight across Just use a clean, dry brush, still using a little crisscross strokes and blending the sky together. Okay, so now they say clean up. Clean up. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this brush. I don't know what they use to clean their brushes or if they have many brushes they have because I'm over here like, dang, I thought I had too many brushes. Clean up. Now the water, he did just say go straight across. Second time's charm. Okay, good. Now, use just the corner of the brush. Let's try again. Yeah, with see why he's using just the corner? And all you're worried about is a nice top. So you want you put one more little cloud over here on the right side. And the clouds need friends too. And all you're looking for is a basic shape at this period. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, now with a large brush. Okay, my paint is still a little wet, like the other time. Like, what's going on? I'm gonna put it where more lower, where the paint is already dry. too much of the brush and you make little tiny circles little tiny circles and then fluff it up and hypnotize it see how simple it is okay let's do the other one here using just the corner of the brush little tiny circles just blend the bottom of it out okay now fluff it up and hypnotize it there, super Steve. So now we gotta mix our colors again. Blue, brown, crimson. Okay, we got our color mix. There you go. And you use very, very firm pressure when you're putting this basic shape on. Really, really. Okay, okay. Slow down, slow down. This is still hard the second time. He has one over here. I'm just trying to put them in the same spots as him. One right here. Over here. What y'all thinking? Okay, so now we have to blend it out. Okay, so I got my mountains finally. Now, just barely touch. Now, here's where the problem happens, just the weight of the knife. And then you might think where light would strike the mountain. There, it looks like he's gonna have to move.
Okay, slow down. I'm over here still mixing my color. One second. Yeah, it's a little one. Uh huh. Push it right into the back. Oh, you're gonna make them all? Yeah, I'm gonna make them all in the background. Okay. It's fantastic that you can change your mind right in the edge. Things are very, very important. There you go. I'm sorry, I'm not even talking like I'm over here like. It's oh. fantastic that you can change. there. You just need to wash your brush real quick and show you how to create a little bit of mist. Now, when you create this mist, all you do is just barely tap. Just gently, gently tap. There. Okay, I need to go wet my brush. And always follow the angles in your mouth. Left upward. Okay, one, six. Yeah, I'm not even using the same brushes as them because they're using the same yeah, brushes, the washing them, and I don't have those. Okay, Steve's mixing up a honey mix in there. Steve. Blue, brown, and white. Blue, brown, and white. Okay. On the Blue, brown, and white. They put some character. In okay, one second. It's tap on here. straight across. Notice all the little hills and bumps and valleys he's got in there. It makes your painting a lot, lot more interesting. Super. And here he's just laid in his basic color. And this is just tapping. All he's doing is tapping. There's several different ways to make it. You can use the brush vertically and pull downward and it makes very nice foothills also. Okay, now he's going to lift gently up, make it look like little trees, maybe that's way, way back in the distance somewhere. Very soft and quiet. You do very, very short strokes, and the legs will stay looking outward. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so we have one. Let's see your paint. Okay, why don't you add a little bit more brown and blue there? Just a little bit more of a cake All right. Now, while he's got color on the brush, he can add a little bit underneath, just a tiny bit, and that'll help create reflections. That's what we'll add, that's what we'll reflections in there, we'll add it. Now, with a large brush, we're going to take and pull those reflections down, just there. Y'all, like, I'm over here on concentration mode. Like, I really want this to come out really cute. Seriously. I'm really trying, y'all. Like, really trying to do it. When you're pulling these reflections down, be sure you go straight down. It'll disturb you terribly if you take it and put them in an angle. Okay. okay, Bob, I got you. Straight down, straight down. Like that. Pull straight down and then very gently go across. And that'll create the illusion of water. Okay, super. Cut a hole through the canvas. Just really cut it. Yeah. Saw it in there. And you can make this water line go anywhere you want it. You can go up, down, sideways, crossways. The thing is, if it's still water, these lines need to be basically straight or your water will run right out of your painting. And it will really bother you when you look at this painting later on. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's go to the next one here. So right now we're about to do the trees. Oh my god, look at my hand. My remote, oh my god. Look at this. I'm just using the corner of the brush. Just so it work back and forth. Hold on, wait. Where are you placing it? A little bit of pressure. You can add a little more to it, you can take away from it. This is your trick, so you have to make all my decisions. You know, so you don't put another right side. Trees get lonely too. You gotta do another friend there. Just a little bit. Maybe a lean in there. All right. There. Maybe that tree was just a little baby. Somebody stepped on his down. He's got a good trouble. He's got a little crook in his back. There. Very nice. Okay. Let's go back in here. See what the next question is. Hold on. They call my I'm decisions. stealing my first tree. You know, so you might put another right side. Trees get lonely too. We gotta get a little friend there. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe a lean in there. All right. There. Maybe that tree was just a little baby. Somebody stepped on him on his down. He's got a little crook in his back. There. Very nice. Okay. Let's go back in here. See what the question is. 
the two halves of the pattern trees, which is the Once you have a very long the of the pages are the very very dry. The limitation is the and squeeze the pages to see the It will that the are the So the pages should be Good. What color do you use on that? A uh, little bit of sap green and Prussian blue. Sap green, Prussian blue. Very dark, very nice color. Okay, you want to take your brush and pull those reflections down just a little bit. Now watch what happens when he does this. Good. Now keep them on the end, small. Wait, I need to make my bushes. Wait for me, Steve. Wait for me, Bob. Okay, then he's just brushing it down. Okay, so I changed it a little bit y'all so I feel like their tree is a little lighter than mine because it's supposed to be giving you know like nature not too much because you know how we struggle with it like taking a while to dry so I'm trying not to put too much Bushes over there. Pearl, look at my shit! Okay! I'm over here getting way too excited. Okay, next step. We still got a whole long way to go, don't we? So no, it's still like 10 minutes. Wait, what happened? Why don't you drop us a few little trunks in some of those trees there, Steve? Oh, we're about okay. to make some And for that, we Where's my palette knife? This might have messed my thing up. Okay, so that might have messed it up. So we're going to use a one inch brush and uh, let's show them real close here how to put some highlights on. Okay, what are we going to do here? Right there, you drop a bush over here. Good. Isn't that a beauty? It's most important that you layer these bushes. There we go. Now, once you take the same color and reflect it right into the water, so you okay. And you just reverse the brush. You just put a basic bush tree right down to the water. Very gently. Don't have to use much pressure here. Or he'll be able to be on me home by myself. All right. Now we can take a large brush and pull down very gently. Three hairs and some hair. There. There we go. Now just go across the gym. So I'm going to have Steve take a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Okay. Power knife and show you how to lace it. I'm right still on, there. on the bushes, Bob. Wait on me. I think this is where I might have messed up because my trees ain't looking like his trees and his bushes. <laughs> you guys, my bushes, look at them. I was doing so good. I don't know. I don't know what this is anymore. I'm just gonna try to fix it the best that I can. Pull down very gently. Three hairs and some hair. There. There we go. Now just go across in a gentle horizontal stroke. And it creates the illusion of reflections that fast. A little bit of Van Dyke brown on the palette knife and show you how to lay some land underneath this. Okay, so I'm trying to blend in the water to give it reflection like theirs, y'all. And this shit is hard. For real? Are you dead ass right now? Looks like water, like, but it looks like swamp water. And like, y'all, like, his trees and stuff are so pretty. And mine's are like, bitch, what did you make? Because the paint on mine is kind of mixing in with my green.
I'm gonna try to salvage it the best I can. It's not gonna look like Bob's anymore. It just, at this point, it's gonna look like who and what did it. Next. Okay, there we go, a bit of brown. He starts at the small end, just barely touching. And notice how he follows the angles here, the, the lay of the lamp. That's very, very important that you follow the lay of the lamp. And that he get larger as he goes back, and this will this will cause you to look into the painting. It leads the eye into the painting when you're looking at it. So you want to take a little brown and white and make us a little highlight there so this stands out a little better. What color do you use for your highlight? Good. Well, Steve, what do you think of this paint? Well, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> That's very nice, and I hope that everyone has enjoyed watching you answer the questions and, and do a beautiful little painting here. I'd like to close the show and take just a few minutes of your time, and I'd like to tell each and every one of you how much we appreciate you allowing us into your home, how much we appreciate you being with us each week. It's really a pleasure to be here Oh, thank you, Bob. All right, y'all. So the video is done, but I'm just gonna sit here and try to perfect this because I'm not leaving here with it looking like this. I just can't. Like, I uh, just can't do it, man. Let's see what else we can do. Bob's crisscross strokes. I'm trying to fix it, but hmm. this is hard, y'all. And this is the easiest one. Be shit me. I don't know how to fix it. I'm just gonna go ahead and go over it again, like the same way we made the mountains in the beginning. I'm just gonna do that again since the freaking yellow mixed in. Literally y'all like I've used every single one of these brushes like that's crazy and they only use like three brushes Alrighty you guys we are finally done and look at me look at my hands my arms I got it on my shirt I got it on my freaking boob look at my pants look at my freaking pants Literally just took the tag off of these pants too, y'all. Like, that's ridiculous. Aftermath of everything. I know for a fact that my table is done. It's probably gonna be stained. I used all of these brushes. I don't know how, what's gonna happen. Cause this table is crazy. This one was the first one we was doing. Where we tried and then we started over. This is the first one and it's literally still wet. Like, to the touch. And then this one is my final one. This is what it looks like. Look at her. Loki did a pretty a good job. I just really need to work on my clouds. It just wasn't dry yet up here and I was working on it. Other than that, it came out pretty good and I really like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe down below. Let me know if you guys want to see me do another one because Loki it was really fun. Like I had fun. It was just like, oh my God. And it actually came out really good. So I would love to do another one. So let me know guys if you want to see another one. Like y'all, look at this mess 
the table. Oh my lord. I'm just hoping it's gonna come off.